Hi folks, in today's video I'm going to be testing the Lanshan Flames Creed 1 tent against this, which is the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo tent. So as you can see here, they are both very similar looking tents. I don't know if the, the Flames Creed is intended to be a copy of the Six Moons Designs tent, but they are very similar the weigh both under one kilogram and for this video I'm going to try and bottom it out and see if it's worthwhile buying the more expensive Six Moons Design tent or if you go for the Flames Creed. The Lunar Solo has 20 denier silicon fly sheet whereas the Flames Creed has 15 denier sil nylon. Slight difference there. If you're going to go for the Lunar Solo this will set you back $230. This is roughly about £190 depending on the exchange rate. Meanwhile the Flames Creed would cost you $100. It depends because the AliExpress site the prices do tend to go up and down depending on what sort of uh, promotions they've got. The Lunar Solo is a single skin tent with a bolt in ground sheet and mesh bug net. So this means but there's no need to pitch the inner or the outer first, it's all pitched as one because this is inbuilt, sewn in with the material. <clears throat> the ground sheet is a bathtub and is made of 40 denier silicon as well, so it's a tougher ground sheet. And the one thing about the Lunar Soul is it's extremely spacious for a one man tent, there's lots of room. It's the one thing I really do like about this tent. <clears throat> as you can see here, it's really spacious for a one man tent. I've got plenty of room here to have all my gear. There's room below my feet for gear as well and when this is always zipped up and enclosed there's plenty of space for storage as well. So now we're in the Lanshan tent, as you can see this is just slightly different to the Lunar Solo. When the Lunar Solo had the built in ground sheet that was sewn in, this has a removable one so you, you can pitch the outer with the inner or you can pitch the outer first. Kevin who's lent me this tent, he likes to take this out because he thinks it stores better as two separate parts in the bag rather than one big part. Now. <clears throat> It's not quite as spacious as the um, the Lunar Solo. There is some room for gear here. It's got a, a decent sized porch, but my head is touching the uh, sheet here. So, um, yeah, it's okay actually, it's not too bad. It's not as spacious, but I don't feel like it'd be a coffin. If you're wondering how waterproof these tents are, I can certainly tell you that. The Lunar Solo is 3000 milliliters hydrostatic head. This ground sheet is also the same. Whereas the Lanshan is apparently 5000 milliliters hydrostatic head and the ground sheet is even better at 8000. So I tell you what, if you camp in a lot of wet weather, you might just want to go for this if, that, if the claims on this are correct. Um, however, both are plenty enough, I think, for UK conditions. Um, I've certainly not had any issues with the Lunar Solo. Um, Kev hasn't actually sealed this tent yet, so he's not done these or this bit yet. But I did withstand a shower, but I think for more prolonged use, you will want to seal that at some point. The Lunar Solo has been sealed by um, Six Moon Designs when the original owner actually bought that so that tent has been done. One thing I like most about my Lunar Solo is the fact that the doors can pin back so it means that if it's a really nice night you can sleep with these doors open, get a nice gentle breeze through the tent if you want or maybe you're looking at a sunset or a sunrise. But either way you've got that option with the Lunar Solo and of course the Lanshan is equal to the task and does exactly the same. Now you can see here on the Lanshan it's got one extra solid stitch here just to make that a bit more secure because that's obviously where you're going to get the pressure when it's windy. And it's got a double stitch here and here. So that's fairly good quality. Loner Solo, you can see here it's got two strengthening stitches to join the guy line. And it's only got a single stitch along here, whereas the Lanshan's got the two. But as long as you don't get an abrasion on rocks, that shouldn't be an issue to be honest. But I think importantly, that feels secure, as does the land shan. Well, 
must say the one thing that I like about the Lunar Solo is when it's time to reattach the doors to the guy line it is so straightforward simply you grab this loop here this just connects onto this easier said than done when you're using one hand and once you've got that little loop on you just pull that tight and this is like a little tensioning system you just pull that and there you go the one thing I don't like though is this it might just be the way I pitched it but this is a little bit saggy and the wind was catching that the last time I was out in Jura it's not a huge show a showstopper but it might just be the way I've got this pitched whereas on the Lan Shan this system here it's just a little bit more fiddly because this is attached to the guy line and this all comes loose so there may be a better way to set that up unlike the, uh, the Lunar Solo the Flames Creed runs right up to the top so it doesn't have that issue however that obviously does give you good ventilation because you've got that gap underneath the hood this one doesn't have any gap so this one won't be quite as good for shedding condensation however as you can see here there's plenty of room under here to get a breeze through as has the uh, lunar solo so you, they will suffer condensation but as you can see for a free season tent there'll be enough breeze getting in there just to keep the moisture at bay so as you can see the lunar solo has six pegging out points as does the flames creed the slight difference is is the lunar solo has one of these so you can add a guy line at each side this is handy if you just want to give yourself a little bit more headroom or just to give it a bit more wind resistance the flames creed which is quite useful does come with these already so you don't have to go out and buy these separately they come with the tent Before making this video, I have to admit, I'm, I was kind of biased towards the Lunar Solo. I own it, it's my tent, I've used it five or six times now, I really like this, but during making this video, I really have warmed to the Land Shan. I wanted to find fault with it before making this video because of the cheap imports for China, and that hasn't happened. This has been a totally different outcome from what I expected before making this video. I mean, it's the first time I've pitched this, yet this looks more taut than my Lunar Solo. Um, they've both got their benefits, I like the space that this one gets. This one is not as spacious, a couple of little fiddly bits I don't like. It's more waterproof. I don't know, it's just it's so difficult to uh, pin one out. But if you look at the price, once you convert it into pounds, this one is going to be over £100 dearer. Um, Whereas that is going to be under a hundred pound. I don't know. I'm beginning to sway towards the land shan, if I'm perfectly honest. Whichever one you go for is up to yourself. The both budget backpacking tents. That's the thing to bear in mind as well. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else of value I can add. But if you do have any questions, please do drop them in the comments box below. If you found this video useful. Um, please give it the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.